and happy Earth Day from the Springfield Water and Sewer Commission. I'm Katie Shea, Educational Outreach Specialist for the Commission. Thank you so much for spending your Earth Day with us and learning more about the environmental impacts of bottled water and tap water. We know that drinking plenty of water and staying hydrated is essential for health and well-being. In Springfield and surrounding communities, we have a public water system that delivers clean drinking water to our homes. The Springfield water system actually dates back to the 1800s. It has undergone many upgrades since then, most significantly the completion of Cobble Mountain Reservoir, which has served as the Commission's main source of water since 1931. The water is filtered and treated and then flows primarily by gravity to homes and businesses in Springfield and surrounding communities where residents can turn on their tap and have access to water. You could also purchase bottled water, which many find to be a convenient option for staying hydrated on the go. Over the years, bottled water sales in the U.S. have skyrocketed, but this increase has also had an impact on the environment. Let's take a closer look. Americans buy approximately 50 billion bottles of water per year, but less than half of all plastic bottles are recycled. Most end up in a landfill or polluting our oceans. But it's not just the lack of recycling that has environmental consequences. The environmental impacts of bottled water actually begin in production. Have you ever wondered how they make those plastic bottles anyway? To make a one liter bottle of water requires one quarter liter of oil and three liters of water. And where does the water inside of the bottle come from? Approximately 64% of bottled water comes from municipal tap water systems. Companies bottle this municipal water at plants around the country. Often, your bottle of water travels hundreds if not thousands of miles to reach your grocery store shelves. There's also the cost factor to consider. Bottled water typically is much more expensive than tap water. On average, a 16.9 ounce bottle of water costs 70 cents per bottle, or about 4 cents per ounce. Compare that to tap water, which is delivered direct to your faucet for less than a penny a gallon. But is tap water safe? As I mentioned, most bottled water is municipal tap water that has been bottled, packaged, and distributed, so there is typically not a significant difference in water quality. The United States has one of the safest water supplies in the entire world. Drinking water is monitored by the EPA and must meet strict standards. Additionally, local water systems conduct daily water quality monitoring. So now that we know where bottled water comes from, what about tap? As I mentioned, Cobble Mountain Reservoir has been the source of the Commission's drinking water since 1931. The Commission also maintains Bordenbrook Reservoir as a water supply. These reservoirs are located 20 miles west of the city of Springfield in Blanford and Granville, Massachusetts, and are surrounded by protected forest land. This area is known as the Little River Watershed. Approximately 14,000 acres of land within the Little River Watershed in Blanford, Otis, and Granville, Massachusetts is protected, owned, or managed by the Commission for the purpose of water quality protection. The pristine location and acres of protected land minimize the risk of water supply contamination as the forest provides a natural buffer to surrounding development and natural filtration of potential contaminants. So let's recap. We've discussed the environmental impacts of bottled water and tap water, we've talked about water quality and safety, and we know where both bottled water and tap water come from. So there's just one more question. Which one tastes better? Generally, bottled and tap taste similar because they both come from municipal water supplies like reservoirs or aquifers, but you be the judge. In celebration of Earth Day, we are encouraging everyone to try their own bottled versus tap taste test at home. Can you taste the difference? Thank you so much for joining the Springfield Water and Sewer Commission for this virtual Earth Day celebration. We hope you enjoyed exploring the environmental impacts of bottled water and tap water. And remember, refilling a water bottle with your local drinking water can help the environment. Local tap water is monitored daily for quality and has a small environmental footprint. 
For more information about the Springfield Water and Sewer Commission, visit our website, waterandsewer.org. There you will find educational resources, water system history, water quality reports, and much more.